Hi, this is Don, and today I'm going to give you an overview of Mandelbulb 3D. It's a free program that you let you explore 3D fractal spaces and create amazingly detailed and uh, otherworldly images and even animations. It is a free program, like I said, made by a user named Jesse on fractalforums.com, and it. Uh, if you're familiar with the, the more standard two-dimensional fractals like the Mandelbrot set, it's similar to that except you get to use all these crazy 3D shapes and formulas that create 3D patterns instead of just a 2D. So you can get in there and look around in the spaces as well as zoom in for all the infinite detail and all the crazy fractal shapes. And here you're seeing just a few examples of the most recent images that have been uploaded to fractalforums.com by people using Mandelbulb 3D. So you can see there's a, a, a crazy variety and, and endless possibilities and the way you can combine these formulas uh, get in there and change the lighting and the color and find uh, shapes that you really like. The animation tools are especially interesting. Here's one, uh, my most recent one called Feta Morgana that is a four minute trip through one of these 3D fractals and all the while every shape and form in the image is morphing and transforming into something else. So like I said this is a free program and if you go to um, bit.ly slash get m3d you'll see download links to the latest versions of Mandelbulb 3D version 1.72. I think I'm using 1.70 for this demonstration. Okay, third time's a charm. Quick and no rambling, I hope. This is Mandelbulb 3D. When uh, you first load up, you'll see these three windows. You'll probably say, what the heck are all these buttons for? What do these numbers mean? What are all these sliders and tabs and doohickeys and whatnots? Um, there's a lot of options <laughs> on this program. Um, so let's cut down a little confusion. I'll just explain what these windows are and in future videos we'll get down to the uh, nitty gritties and the details and all this. So this window here is what I think of as the rendering window. It kind of holds the copy of the current 3D fractal space that you're working on and um, lets you hit this calculate 3D button to get the uh, 3D final rendering of your fractal. You can control the resolution of this up up here with the width and height buttons or options. I'll do a 1280 by 720. Um, these buttons, the scale buttons, will let you change the scale of the image and also apply any aliasing that you might need to get a smoother um, image out of your fractal. Mm, most of the you can uh, navigate around in this window uh, in that 2D mode, but I have never done that. I always just go over to this awesome 3D navigator, which is uh, the coolest part of Mandelbulb 3D, I think, because you can find you can get one of these spaces that you create by uh, changing these formulas or loading in a preset, and then uh, not only can you look at it, but you can fly around in it uh, almost in real time. It's really fast, even though it is you know it's low resolution and um, but it gives you a great sense of the space and you can just move your camera around um, and get just the angle and the, uh, the, the amount of zoom and whatever that you want. So right now I'm just using W, A, S, and D to move back and forth, E and C up and down. You can see also you could just click on these if you're more comfortable clicking with arrows. And you can also rotate the camera with I, J, K, and L. Also new to version 1.7, uh, if you click your mouse on the screen, now your mouse controls the camera and you use W, A, S, and D to, to zoom in and out. So you notice you can go pretty fast if you just kind of keep a sense of where you are. Uh, but if you ever need to see a better view, you just stop and uh, Mandelbulb 3D will continue rendering a slightly higher resolution version of the image. So let's find a spot that we want to take a look at in higher resolution and get a nice, a, a better rendering of. So now we've got this view and, and, and we want to get a better, a better rendering of it. So we hit 
this button here, View to Main. That'll send all this data that's in your 3D Navigator back over to the main rendering window. And you'll notice that it says Press to Calculate. Uh, that's kind of a signal that this image is not the actual, is not representing the data that's ready to be rendered. So we'll calculate that, and now we're going to get, <coughs> excuse me, a rendering that we transferred over here. One one interesting thing to note is that you can keep exploring your fractal while the main window is rendering. Uh, which is real handy when you're looking around and you just want to stop and get a better look at where you are but you don't want to stop and lose your bearings <laughs> when you're moving around because it's easy to get lost in one of these things that's for sure um, these tabs over here also have to do with the image that's being rendered this is the lighting tab it has a ton of options for lighting the interesting thing about M3D is that you can change the lighting after you render an image. So this image has already been rendered, but I can go in and uh, pick one of these preset colors to use on it. I could make whole new colors, uh, change the background. I like to bump up the ambient shadows a little bit, which adds some darkness back in those crevices and cramped spaces. It brings out the detail in the front. You can add a little bit of reflected light from the ambient. A ton of lighting controls. And you notice when I'm changing that, they change over here in the main window, but not the 3D Navigator. Um, you can transfer information between these windows from the Navigator's view to main, and then into the Navigator, if you hit parameters, then it'll take the information for the camera and other fractal settings from here and pop them into this. Let me demonstrate. I'll move the camera here. And then if I go parameter, it's going to pop these back in right over here. Um, same with the lighting. If I change the lighting here and I wanted to change the data that's in this 3D Navigator, I need to pop it into the Navigator with the lighting button. So you can have more control over if you want to send this data from the formulas, the lighting, or the parameters from the fractal to your navigator and it comes in handy when you're doing animations or you're really getting in there and exploring a sp specific fractal so um, let's say we like this fractal here and we could save this image by saving it as a JPEG or a bump a BMP or PNG file you can also save the Z buffer which will give you a grayscale image uh, that contains the depth information in the picture which lets you do some neat tricks in Photoshop. Now if we wanted to save this parameter and come back and use it later we can save a complete M3i which saves the parameters and the lighting and the colors as well as a screenshot this screenshot right here. We can save just the parameters we can copy uh, a clever bit of text to the clipboard that we can then post on fractalforums.com so other people could copy it to their clipboard, use this button, and then render your fractal on their machine. It's a super easy way to share parameters. Um, okay, that's all. The, that's the basics, uh, I, I think. Oh, let me show you how to open up a, a sample. Here's some parameters uh, that come with, uh, a bunch of ones that come with the program. You just hit this button here, open parameters, find one that looks interesting pop it up and you can calculate the 3D to see how it's set up immediately or just go over here go parameter and then you can start looking around the fractal right away and then if you want you can come over here change some of these fract these parameters just a little bit hit formula bam and then you got a new fractal to explore or change something else over here I'll get into all that later but um, and then if I wanted to see this this one in a high resolution, send it from here, view to main. I'll make this a little smaller. Calculate 3D and we can get a, a good high detail version of it. Then save it with JPEG. So 
as a quick overview I don't want to go into much detail because I'm trying to keep these quick so uh, the next video will probably be more about how to load a fractal in and change and combine these parameters and formulas to find new shapes either that or I'll show you how to adjust the colors and lightings on the presets. I don't know which one's easier to understand first. So I hope that helps and please leave feedback uh, on my YouTube channel here. Subscribe if you want more and I'd love to hear what you would like to know about uh, Mandelbulb 3D. Alright, thanks for watching. See you later.